What's up guys, it's Harley Wood, welcome back. All right, first of all, the Marauders from Gators just went live. I got a 15% off code in the description below, check it out. All right, but not gonna wear those for the video because the mirrored lenses, you guys are just gonna be distracted by all the reflections. So I got back from Orlando a week ago, uh, a week and a, a couple days ago, had a company conference down there for a week and I took this new bag from Agilite, new laptop bag. I teased this on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Facebook or Instagram, there's links in the description below to those also. You get to see stuff a lot sooner than you do here. I tease it on Instagram and Facebook before it ever makes it to this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and follow those. Now I had planned to release this video as soon as I got back from the conference after I had traveled with this and used it for a little bit. I had also used it for two weeks prior to going to the conference, all right? Unfortunately, when I got back, I got back on a Thursday night. Sunday, I woke up, I mowed the lawn, I felt horrible. I took a, like a two hour nap. Sunday night, started getting body chills and stuff like that. And I was like, oh man. Woke up Monday morning, took a COVID test, and it was positive. So got COVID again. Um, it's been about eight and a half months since the last time that I had it. And this time was, last time it was only really that it turned into pneumonia in one of my lungs. I think I was just a little too sedentary during it. This time I was not sedentary. I proned, I sat up, you know, I, I still had to work. And so I was in my office, I was isolated. And um, this time I had one bad night of like 102.5 temperature, you know, throughout the night. And I woke up the next morning feeling great. Um, I just came out of isolation yesterday. So here we go, let's get this video done. If you saw my SHOT Show footage, you got to see this bag. It was still kind of, I guess, what were the prototypes or the working models of this bag? Well, it is live, it is in production, and I also have one as a giveaway, stay tuned for that. But I took this to Orlando on a business trip, used it for a couple weeks prior to that trip, and it's fantastic. It also doubles as kind of a plate carrier on the front side. I'll demo that for you here in a bit. Um, here's what I'll say, because it's, it's a multi-purpose bag, and what I mean by that is it's not just a laptop bag. Um, they had to make some design choices that accommodate kind of the plate carrier functionality of it, um, but unfortunately it takes away from the comfort as a laptop bag, all right? So if you're gonna be traveling extensively, carrying a lot of weight extensively, for example, this shoulder strap is not the most comfortable. It doesn't have a lot of padding, but that's because this is part of what um, what you use to wrap, I'll show you. I'll show you how this turns into that, that front side plate carrier. Most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, I drive to work, I'm from my truck into the office, and I'm carrying this thing for maybe all of five minutes in the morning and five minutes on the, in the afternoon. So it's not a big deal to me. But if you travel extensively, you know, just this thin strap over your shoulder for extended periods of time, especially if you're carrying any kind of weight, may not be the most comfortable. All right, so let's get into this thing. We've got two zippers on the top there. It folds about halfway open. And also our guest speaker was Jason Redman at the, at the conference. If you don't know who he is, Navy SEAL, took a round to the face, incredible guy, check out his story. But this does fit a full-size MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is the brand new MacBook Pro and it might fit a 17, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, there's still, it'd probably fit a 17. There's probably still another inch and a half of room over there. So, but Apple doesn't make a 17. So I don't know why anybody would carry something that's... Now, a couple years ago, I went into the bathroom at the airport while, again, while I was traveling. I set my laptop on top of my luggage bag. And while I was using the bathroom, it fell off, it hit on the corner and it cracked the screen on that computer. Um, that one did not have a lot of padding. I don't think it was sufficient, okay? This one all around the edges is very nicely padded. There's probably a quarter inch of, and when I say quarter inch, I don't mean wide, I mean thick. It's probably a quarter inch thick of padding all the way around the exterior elements of this bag. So very nicely done on that. Also the sleeve itself is well padded, okay? So if you have something in the front here that like I had the book there, it will be protected from whatever you have here. Sorry if you can hear the wind chimes. It just got done raining. There's wind chimes going in the background. Um, so anyway, there's a little bit of padding there to protect your laptop from what might also be inside the bag. Now, if we pull this up and there's another zipper back here, you'll see there's a sleeve back here. This is for your armor insert. And Agilite does sell the armor pieces for this. So right there, this 3A plate is designed specifically for this bag. So I'll post a link in the description below to both of these, but fits perfectly in there. 
So now if I turn this around and show you the inside of what is now the, what is the front of the bag here, there is also a Velcro panel in here. So I've got some um, air buds for the airplane, charging cords. Um, I have had this in here. I wasn't sure if anybody was gonna require us to wear a mask while we were in Orlando. And then back to the front of this bag, there are two compartments. So there is, in this orientation, there is one with a zipper that goes this way, all right? And it's basically just a dump pouch. And in there, I think the only thing I have left is some gum. The panel on the back here also does a little bit of double duty, okay? One thing that I would have really liked to have seen is in order to really access this pouch, you orient the bag this way, okay? And then it opens up like this, all right? So I know this is kind of tough to tell on camera, especially with a black bag, but there are a series of mesh pouches on the inside here. I've got a battery bank, a pen. I've got that new Olight uh, Arkfeld light. Also some business cards, and there's a bottle of ibuprofen tucked down in one of these. So really nice job on these. My only piece of feedback would be that in this orientation, I wish this zipper opened more so that I could kind of fold it open from the top and more easily access what's inside of here. Now I mentioned this pouch also does kind of double duty, okay? So it's not only a laptop pouch, but it also serves as kind of your plate carrier support uh, portal, all right? So if I open this back up, you'll see that there is a loop field of Velcro in the back here. If you had one of their, they, they make the attachments that go in here, but there's a million of them on the market. If you wanted to put some magazines in here, Velcro them to the back. And then if you did have to use this, you could open it up and support your work. And then two last things before I show you how this doubles as a plate carrier is it does have the retention system in the back. So if you pull up the handles on your rolling luggage and you wanna slide this down on it, I'll roll in a little picture video thing here that I actually did use it for. Um, it, it will certainly work for that. It holds fine. Now let's show you the plate carrier version of this. So this works whether it's over your head or just hanging on your shoulder, okay? So whether I'm here or I'm over here, I'm gonna do it this way because if I leave it over here, it's gonna screw with this mic on this side. So see the slack that's in the line here, this, this extra piece? Let's say a threat happens, I need to respond and I wanna cover up, all right? There's a pull tab right here. And as I pull this, it's gonna take all of this slack out and let this bag down, all right? So I'm gonna pull all that slack out. Now, if I let the bag go, it's literally hanging down by my knees at this point, okay? I'm gonna reach behind me, grab the other side of the strap here, pull all of that slack around, and then you see that clip on the bottom of the bag there? This is why this strap had to be so minimalist, okay? Clip it there, and now I'm ready to go to work, okay? Uh, a different kind of work, not work work, but go to go to work, get, the, get some work to do work. Once the threat's neutralized, and I guess I'm ready to go back to work, you'll see that that end of the strap there has kind of a thumb loop. You can pull all that slack back out, and then it hangs more normally like a laptop bag again. Now these come in all of your favorite colors, as you would expect from Agilite, very high quality, all the stitching. Oh, I forgot one last thing. So also, if you're using this as a plate carrier, there is a tear away, uh, kind of a concealment thing right here. So let's say you had first responder or if you are police or you could put police under here, cover it up and then in the event something happened, tear that off, go to work and at least you have a little bit of identification on the front of it there. But as I was saying, it comes in all your favorite colors and the one we're giving away is the gray version, all right? So I asked them for both. I told them I was gonna pick whichever one was my favorite. Unfortunately, this one arrived first and I just had to open it. I had to start using it. I wanted to get this video done in a timely fashion. This one arrived later and I actually really like the gray. I kind of wish this had arrived first, but this one's still completely sealed. I'm not gonna swap out and give you a used one. This is the one that somebody will win. All you need to do to enter in the drawing is post a comment down below and tell me where you follow Agilite, all right? I'm gonna post links in the description below to their various social media outlets. I would recommend definitely their Instagram page. Their YouTube page is great also, but follow them wherever makes sense for you. Come back to this video and post a comment and tell me where you follow them. The giveaway starts right now. So go follow them, go come back here, tell me where, and you're in. Now I have two giveaways that I think are about to overlap. And so I'm just gonna put across the bottom of the screen right here when this giveaway ends, okay? I'm gonna draw one winner and that person gets this bag. Pretty simple. Now, if you win, I will notify you by responding to your comment down below, telling you that you have won and asking you to contact me at harleywood77 at gmail.com. 
not Telegram, not WhatsApp, not Grinder, not Friend Finder, <laughs> nowhere else, all right? Harleywood77 at gmail.com. Unfortunately, there's been some scammers in my comments telling people that they've won, asking them to, hey, reach out to me on Telegram, and then giving them options for the shipping costs. All my giveaways, I pay all my shipping myself. I will never ask you to pay for the shipping and handling on something that you've won, so don't fall for this. And that's it, guys. Now, for those of you who aren't lucky enough to win this, first of all, I appreciate Agilite providing one for giveaway. It's awesome when these uh, manufacturers support the channel and support what I like to do for you guys here. So thank you to Agilite. But if you don't happen to win one of these, there is a link, or if you're watching this after the giveaway is over, the link is in the description below. Check them out, guys. As always, I appreciate your time watching. I got lots more giveaways to come. Oh, on that note, join my newsletter. I get too many people who are telling me, I didn't even know your giveaway went live. Every time I launch a giveaway, I publish it in the newsletter and I just send out an email to the, the recipient list. I never spam you, join the newsletter. But that's it guys. Thank you for your time watching. Appreciate it. Lots more to come and I'll see you on the next one.